Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley B. Deck, and today we'll be doing a start to finish lace wig install. So this is going to be a two in one. You're going to see the wig as I install it straight out of the box. This one did come with the lace pre-cut. So you're going to see how easy and effortless it is to install a wig that just doesn't come with lace at all. And then I'm going to turn it up a notch for you guys. And I'm going to show you how to straighten this type of hair and how to do the lace and the baby hair as well. But the real icing on the cake is that we're going to be doing braids with this one. And that's why I selected her to share with you guys. She's nice and beautiful and full. And so I'm going to be taking like nice little chunks of the hair and turning it into braids. How cute is that? So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Be sure you are subscribed if you haven't already, and now let's get into it. Okay, ladies, jumping right into it. This is the packaging, and then this is our beautiful wig here. This is a beautiful kinky straight lace wig, and as you guys know, I'm going to slay. Here's a look at the inside construction of the cap. I love a breathable cap, and I love an elastic band attached. This one is adjustable, and then this is what the nape of the neck looks like. I'm going to go in with my foundation powder and buff it into the inside of the lace. This is considered a lace tint, so this is going to help the wig be a lot more like warm and rich on my complexion and blend so much better so this is what the wig looks like on as you guys can see she's nice full and voluminous I did a another video with sunburn hair about a month ago and you guys loved it it was a kinky straight wig like so but that one was I believe like a nice rich brown with blonde highlights you guys love that one so much so I definitely wanted to keep the theme and go with another kinky straight lace wig but this time giving you something more of a natural color so here I'm bonding it down. This one did fit glueless, but I like to have mine a little bit more melted sometimes, especially because I'm into boxing and Pilates. On this day, I had boxing. And I mean, I'm just like the idea of like my wig falling off because I'm just high impact, high intensity. I just have to bond it down a little bit, even though I am going with a glueless adhesive. Here I am once the wig is bonded down with that glueless even and I'm just going in forming a little bit of baby hair. I showed you a close up of the hairline and as you guys can see it's pre-plucked very nicely so we didn't have to do any like pre-plucking or like bleaching the knots or any customizations for real. I did do like minimal baby hair when I did like the two swoops above the arches of my eyebrows. You guys know this is classic for me and this is just like my go-to because it gives a baby hair vibe but it's not too overpowering. I did go ahead and go in with the dynamic duo which is the wax stick paired with the electric hot comb along the hairline as well. I really wanted everything to be nice and smooth and you know just laid down and sleek and all the steps I do you see here are pretty much how I get the look very easy I believe that practice makes perfect so if you are like a beginner and you feel like you're struggling just follow these steps and just continue to practice and before you know it it'll become like second nature I'm going to do the dynamic duo along the parting as well. I love the fact that you get six inches of parting space going backwards with this one. And I'm just going to add a little bit of concealer to set that off. I love it when it's flat. I love it when the parting is nice and like rich and just everything I love and more. And this one definitely did not disappoint. You guys can see how full the hair on this one is and look when it's pulled back how flat the wig sits. Just because you have a nice voluminous wig does not mean the hairline and the parting has to give like super big and voluminous. I like for the offset or the balance to be that the parting and just the wig is self laced super flat and that's what's going to make it look natural. Here I am going in with the Bebulous flat iron and I just wanted to soak it out a little bit to show you guys what would happen if you added a little bit of heat. Be sure to add a heat protectant always when going in with any heat at all. As you guys can see, it will soak it out. It will smooth it out. And if you really want it to get like thinner, it definitely can like be a little bit more like relaxed if you will. But with me just going in with larger sections, you guys can see from left to right the, the difference it makes. It did kind of tame it somewhat, but it's still nice and full and it maintains that nice lion's mane. If I did not mention, we are going in and doing some braids with this one. And that was one of the things that I really wanted to do. When I have kinky straight textures, it gives like vacation vibes and options for like beautiful like 
pictures and vibes and braids and I didn't want to go in with like cornrows or something I typically would do along the lace so I went in and did large box braids and this has kind of been a fun look like even when I don't have time to like bond it down or style the hairline I love to do, do this with like scarves over top and like hats over top or even when I do have time to like lay it and slick it I love the way these braids look and as you guys can see I'm going in with like larger sections like medium to large sections and I'm just sectioning it out and I kind of like fill in the vibe not necessarily making them perfect but and also not adding any product I'm just going in parting it out with my fingers combing it out just to smooth it and braiding it all the way down leaving maybe about an inch or two at the ends of um, free hair where I just like secure it with the rubber band and again I'm not like taking it too serious you don't want the braid to be like too tight at the root because this is not um there are tracks around like the back so you don't want it to go up too high where it's going to show tracks so you kind of leave it a little bit more loose and relaxed like at the very very top and then just do nice full neat braids along the rest of the ends and as you guys can see it's a nice fun look you can definitely pull this off especially now that it's about to start getting warm i hope this is going to be a super fun way to kind of switch up the look and think about how beautiful the crimps will be once you take the braids out again i like the hair straight down I love it with a little headband around it a little scarf around it I love it with these braids I just love making a versatile look with um, like wigs like these and so this was the look I came up with again I like it straight even more but wanted to have a little bit of fun and switch it up for you guys I hope you guys enjoyed it there is a link to her in the description box make sure you are following and subscribed now let me give you guys all the tea on this one okay love bugs so I am not <laughs> done with this look but I do want to do the final like outro now so I have boxing in 30 minutes but I also wanted to do something fun where I braid the entire thing so I'm thinking about like giving braid vibes with this one which is why I wanted her um and they're gonna give like the knotless vibe minus the scalp or just individual braids in general minus the scalp and I'm just going to secure them at the end with rubber bands hopefully you see that before you see this clip so with this one this is a very long and full wig this is definitely a vibe and what I love most about it is it came with the pre-cut lace and it's a closure so what's beautiful about that is number one it's a very easy thing as far as like not having to cut the lace off a lot of my ladies are still nervous and will message me all the time like how do you cut the lace can you give me some extra tips and tricks and honestly it's very easy especially with the closure wig it's more so mind over matter and also just a matter of practicing but I do understand not everybody gets a new wig every day like I do this one did come from summer hair so this one is 24 inches in length and then of course all of the other details are in the description box and this is what the packaging and like the goodies look like so you do get a dust a dust bag and lately I've been into yellow they did provide a dust bag and it does have that yellow and I love it it's actually really really pretty they also included my favorite wig caps as well as a yellow melt belt and it does say sunburn on it super nice and then of course you get a little goodie bag and inside let's see so with the goodie bag you get the goodie bag you do get a kabuki brush you do get another pack of wig caps um then you do get your lashes as well as a melt belt so they definitely spoiled us with the gifts i'm gonna go ahead and take some pictures off camera in this beauty but i do hope you guys enjoyed this video again check the description box for all the details as well as a direct link to her thank you guys so much for watching and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches